Hey guys, it's Isen here, and we are back with Don't Starve. When we last left, um, everything was terrible, because our sanity is so incredibly low. And, uh, joining us in progress, everything is still terrible, because our sanity is still incredibly low. So, our first order of business is essentially to run and try to get away from these shadow monsters and hope like hell our sanity restores to the point they go away. I don't know how long they take to go away, but my sanity seems to be jumping between 3 and 2. It's not good. Uh, I'd love to find some flowers I could pick. That would help. Uh, I don't know if eating helps. But, yeah, it's a, it's a bad scene, is basically what I'm getting at here. We're up to 3 again. I feel like the shadow monster is getting near me is not helping the sanity issues. Which makes this an interesting situation to get away from. This thing is terrifying. I've never had my sanity get this low before. I don't think I've ever had my sanity be get low enough to actually affect me. And I'm randomly setting fires because that's uh, how homie play. So, yeah, we're gonna start picking flowers in the hopes it helps. Uh, it seems to be helping. Not much, but it is helping. We're up to 13. Uh, maybe picking a carrot? Uh, yeah, I didn't think so. The carrot does look delicious, though. And since I've kind of left all my food behind... Okay, jumping into that would be straight suicidal. Oh, God. This thing is very fast. Uh, we're up to 18. On a positive note... We did find a touchstone. And I got some lag there. I don't know where that's coming from. Activate the touchstone. Oh my god, yes. We're up to 23. We have a touchstone. So if we die, we can at least come back. This is a fairly tense moment here. I want to de like unequip this spear because I don't want to accidentally attack bees. We're up to 38. Things are starting to fade away. Things are starting to look more normal. Flutter away, butterfly. I feel like killing the butterfly and eating it might be good. I don't know if that's necessarily the most true thing in the world. Uh, I also feel like I should have done that before I picked all the flowers. Ooh, cool. It'll probably settle down here. I think butterflies... Okay, we're up to 44. I feel like butterflies do help your sanity, but I could be wrong. Though they are not letting me get very close. We're up to 49. We have found a nice supply of berry bushes. So, this tra trail of insanity has not all been bad. We're going to start heading back. Um, things are actually at least faded away enough that we can't attack them anymore. So, this is hoping like hell that that means they can't attack me. I kind of changed some of our plans for the day. Um, yeah, basically the point I'm getting at here is no more green mushrooms. Let's just kind of... Actually, you know what? Let's just go out on a limb and just say no more mushrooms might be a pretty good plan. I thought there were some more rocks back there, but I guess I'm wrong. So yeah, no more rush mushrooms. Uh, mushrooms are purely for pigs now. We do not need to indulge in their devilish delights. Okay. So where is our, our camp's kind of over here. I don't want, don't tempt me green mushrooms. Um, wow, I'm just like, screw it, let's light a fire. Where's my backpack? This is what I need. Okay, cool. I have my, I don't have enough grass. Oh God, let's go get my grass quickly. I have my lighter ready. So if things go bad, I'm at 48 sanity. I need to not be in the dark. Is that going to help? Maybe? Oh, God, that grass is gone. Over here? Oh, thank God, grass. So this will at least be enough grass to make it through the night. Uh, our sanity is steadily decreasing. How are we on flowers? We don't have enough flowers to make a new garland yet. So we're just going to have to deal without. Um, I want to make one soon. And I'm actually going to light my fire kind of early, just to keep my sanity from dribbling away. Uh, it's still going down a little bit, but not as bad as it could be. 
I guess I don't need this flint. Let's drop. Stop it, shadows. You're so mean. And, uh, yeah. We're in a bad place health-wise. So, and we're also in a bad place food-wise. Basically, we're not... We don't, we don't have a very good scene going on here. Um... Let's go ahead and pop that log suit on. I saw something over here. Where did that spider get off to? I really wouldn't mind killing that spider before nightfall. Because if we can get some more webbing... I need more silk. I need more monster meat. There's a lot of things I need. But I don't think it's going to happen. Oh, there he is. Nightfall is coming pretty quickly. Let's not risk this. So I got my monster meat. I might as well eat these seeds. I'm just really doing badly on food. The positive thing is, I know there's a ton of, um... I want to keep that in that inventory, actually. Uh, manure. Let's go ahead and fertilize these. Might as well get some berry bushes growing again here. It's going to be a little bit before we can make our, uh... You know, I'm actually thinking I might just suck it up. Let's go ahead and light this up. Okay. I think we might just suck it up. And go ahead and make our, a new science machine. We're only really wasting, like, one gold. It's not a big deal. And at least this will let us start... Get, get started on everything else. Um... Obviously, the next thing we want to make really is... Well, I said that, now I'm not even sure. We're quite a bit off of the alchemy engine. Let's see what we can do about that. How many boards do we need? Four boards. Damn. Two, three, and four. Stone is an issue. We need more stone. Um, but we'll work on that soon. Let's drop these boards here. Let's take a look. Um... Really getting back to our old base would be the best bet. We do need to get up there. There's a ton of stone up here. If we can make it back there. Um, I want a mallet. Like that's kind of big on my list. Hammer. There we go. We need ropes and I need rocks. Do I have enough rocks? I just need to make another rope. I don't have enough ropes, actually. Okay, so we are going to make a run for this. We're going to go pick up these carrots. Uh, we're not going to travel by wormhole, obviously. That would be a huge mistake at this point. I know there's some carrots down here. There we go. I was really hoping to save these for a rainy day, but the cloud is look the sky is looking pretty cloudy right now. Uh, okay, my sanity definitely needs to get to a better level. I cannot be just running around lighting fires. This is absurd. Um, okay, yeah, that's gonna be what we're, that's what we'll do for now. Let's go cook these up. I normally prefer cooking as, like, a nighttime activity, but I definitely want, like, five of these cooked up for the road. And we need to grab some, there we go, I want this pickaxe as well, I don't know why I'm leaving this here. And there we go. I definitely want to grab some uh, tall grass on our way. Um, yeah, tall grass will do it. We have Chester, who can hold a good bit of stuff. But I need enough tall grass to be able to make a campfire, because I don't think I'll be able to make it the whole way in one night. So we need to grab just like, there we go. That's enough for one campfire. Which is the minimum we'll need. Ooh, extra rocks. Not going to complain about that. And this is a sinkhole we definitely won't be opening for a while. I want these flowers because my garland is about to break. And I think I need, like, one more. Yeah, one more and I'll be able to make a new garland. I'll probably just eat the old garland. Which doesn't seem very sane, but whatever. We're going to do it anyway. Extra rocks are always good. We can make a fire pit. Uh, we also going to need those, I think, for... I think we need those for uh, farms, but we definitely need them for blocks for various things, so. So, yeah, let's just take a peek. We got this area figured out. At some point, we'll come up through here. We'll harvest these berry bushes and move them down closer to us. We'll do the whole honey thing at some point. 
but that's going to be a while. And once we have a good supply, we're going to want to put some, uh, I don't know, if we can find any non-perishable food supplies, we might put something there. Uh, I'd love to get me some frog legs. Uh, this was a mistake. On a positive note, we have enough flowers for our garland now. So let's see if we can get these frogs to leave us alone. I forgot that the frogs had a horde mentality. I really, really want them frog legs, though. Not going away without my prize. Okay, so let's head on up. Um, you know, a fishing outpost near these ponds might be a good idea. Once we can get to the point we have a fishing rod. I'm not excited about the sounds I'm hearing. It's definitely sounding kind of... I think those are just the frogs. I always mistake the frogs for the sound of hounds. Ugh, freaking niter. Like, I don't know if I need niter for anything. I had kind of assumed for a while you'd have to use niter to, um, blow open entrances to... Okay. Life-giving amulet? Uh, I don't need this niter. Gourd's not. I actually want this. An extra backpack? Uh, oh wait, we can just put some of this stuff in him. Can I put a backpack in him? I don't think I can. Melty marbles. I don't know what this life-giving amulet is, though. Uh, and an extra shovel. How's this thing looking? 100%. Very nice. Let's go ahead and uh, take a moment and dig up this grave. Ready to run away should I get a ghost. Ooh, nightmare fuel. Fantastic. That was good. So we're going to go ahead and eat this uh, garland. Oops. Uh, that wasn't good for our sanity. And we're going to make a new garland. Okay, cool. Eat up some carrots. And we're going to dig up some berry bushes along our way. We'll get the rocks. We'll, we'll break down the next set of rocks on our way back. But yeah, we're pretty close to the old base. Which I'm very excited about. I really wish I had made a uh, net, but I don't think I can yet. Actually, I built my science machine. I probably could have. What's this life-giving amulet do? Right-click to equip. What? I don't know if that's going to heal us. I have no idea what that thing does. Uh, we got charcoal, which I'm going to go ahead and store here. I have a torch. You know what? Let's put these in here. Can you come over here, please? It's really getting frustrating walking this far from you each time. And I need to make a new do, 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 hammer. I need a hammer. I need another rope. Do I have enough for another rope? I do. So this hammer... I keep going to the wrong section. I'm just, like, making up where I go. Is definitely useful. So we're gonna put the seeds in this guy. We want the box thingy in... I'm gonna pick up those rocks. Squana can go in here. Box thing can go in there. Okay, so... First things first, we're gonna wham on this pretty hard. Okay. Gold, log, log, rocks. That's a lot of rocks. Fantastic. Uh, I have a gourd's knot. That I want to give to the pig king. Eat poop, stupid plant. Oh. Hold up. These only give me twigs now? Probably because they haven't been fertilized. Well, whatever. We'll at least get the twigs from it. Um, I'm not going to bother digging up grass yet. And that's mainly because I have, you know, I don't have that much um, spa inventory space. So we'll go on a grass and sapling hunt at some point in the future. And we'll start a nice little farm for those. Until then, though, I'm going to go ahead and grab that. Uh, I definitely want to grab that berry bush on my way out. And we'll be getting the rocks from this guy as we go. So I'm going to be researching this life-giving amulet. I don't know what it does. Like, if I just leave it equipped, is it going to give me life? I don't... 
really know what I'm doing at this point. I don't know. How we do it, Chester? Got a lot of crap to give to the Pig King, which is always good. Um, I'm trying to decide what in here I desperately, like... Well, the shovel I actually like to get rid of soon. So, do I have an axe on me? I don't. No axes. Um, axe in here. No, I have another shovel. Well, we'll just use this up here soon. Uh, we have another berry bush up there to take care of. Uh, there's some berry bushes along the way, so we'll definitely get rid of that axe on our... Like, finish off that axe as we're going. We can drop this red... Actually, that's just... I didn't mean to cook the red cap. I wanted to add it as fuel. That's fine. Uh, I did want to cook these carrots. I don't know why I didn't do that. Let's take care of that. Our sanity is starting to return to a reasonable level. Our health, not so much. But one thing I desperately want is to be near the pigs before the hounds come. So, let's go ahead and hammer this. Come on. There we go. We got some ash, we got some rocks. We'll probably just toss that ash. Ash is easy enough to make. And I saw a berry bush up here when I was poking around. Let's get this grass. This grass isn't super common down where I'm living. We definitely need to get like a grass field going. Um, Chester, I need that shovel, good sir. You can have this gold. But I think number one priority right now is berries. Because with the berries, at least we can get a basic uh, farm started. You know what? I think this is probably good. We have five bushes. I don't remember how high they stack, but I know there's several bushes on the way down. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to head on down. We'll probably knock up a couple rocks as we go. Ah, we'll take this one. It'd be wrong of us not to. And I do have a nice chunk of berries there. I think these stack to 40, and I do believe grass also stacks to 40. So we'll continue grabbing those as we head home. We definitely have enough materials to make a fire if we need to. Um, as I said, we'll work on a grass farm and a sapling farm later. The nice thing about this, like going into this instead of doing the adventure mode like I was before, is I can actually take the time to like establish a base, really just, it's kind of like better than wolves in a way. You know, I pick a goal and that's what I'm working on that day. And I do my damn just not to get too terribly distracted, even though I probably will. So we got a lot of grass going on here. That's good. Um, you can never have enough grass. I really want these berry bushes. Like, I really, really want them, but this pig man will kill me. Um, unless... I don't think this is going to work, but I'm going to try. Can I give this pig man... Come here. Meat. Nope! Nope, that doesn't work. I get dangerously close to death. He ate it, he said for king, and then he left. So I'm thinking at some point in the future, maybe we should try to come up with him. Like, maybe we'll get like a bunch of the pigs on our side. And then, uh... Oh, I wish I could kill that turkey. Maybe we'll get a bunch of the pigs on our side, and then, um... Like... Go attack him? I mean, it'd definitely be worth it just for the amount of berry bushes we could get. So, does Chester have any more space on him at all? Yes, he has one spot. Let's give him some rocks. So we can pick up carrots. I wish there was a way... Oh, wait, there are farms. I was about to say, I wish there was a way to grow carrots. And I realized, yeah, there is. I'm an idiot. I didn't mean to... Uh, Okay, screw it. We'll just plant that here. Definitely didn't mean to dig that up. Uh, that extra backpack's enticing, and we'll probably come get it at some point. Cool. It is marked on the map. Excellent. We'll probably come get that at some point and, like, pack ourselves a nice little backpack of stuff to leave up at the, um, respawn point. Luckily, it's not too terribly far from our house or where we're settling. So if we do die, it won't be that big a deal. Oh my god, the frogs. I forgot about them. 
Okay, we're just gonna run past. It's cool, froggies. I ain't no threat. You cool. We gotta keep an eye out for killer bees, too. That's the last thing I need to deal with right now. I gotta get my health up. Health is such a chore to regain in this game. Like, it's a good thing. I mean, it makes you have to be careful and not be an idiot. But, uh... Man, I, I always forget how painful it is to regain health. My sanity is getting up to a nice level, which is good. So, I mean, the only ways I know of, of regaining health are, like, honey things regain health, which involves dealing with bees. And... They... Monst the spiders drop those healing glands, or whatever they are. And those take, you know, fighting a monster. So it's like a put yourself in harm's way to heal health. It's interesting. You kind of have to plan ahead, definitely, for uh, knowing when you're going to need healing. Or get yourself ready knowing you'll need healing in the future. So we're going to grab this grass, and then we're going to head on down. And a lot of this little bits of grass and, like, saplings, we can just relocate. We'll probably get the pigs to help us at some point. Uh, chop out more trees. Uh, more berries. Fantastic. And first things first, I need to build myself a nice fire pit. Excellent. Now these are... All these new ones I'm planting are going to need to be fertilized, but that's fine. Something we'll get to in the future. We'll just do it as the, fer as the poop drops. Um... And honestly, now that they're here, and we're in a little bit less desperate of situation. Actually, we should probably start mushroom hunting. Because mushrooms are something we don't want to use, but we can give to pigs. Somewhere in here, there's a spot I can put this down. It's like such an annoyingly small location. Screw it, we'll just put it over here. But I think for now, we're going to use our last two fertilizer to get some of those going again. They take kind of forever. But it, it, it's all right. Okay, so the next thing I wanted was a alchemy engine. So I need two bits of cut stone. And what else did I need? I needed gold. Uh, Chester has my gold. Good sir, thank you. Uh, you can have some of uh, this flint. Excellent. We'll build our alchemy engine. There we go. Now, our big thing now is we need food stuff. We need farms. And I think we're probably going to go straight for the advanced farms. Or the improved farms. There's really no reason to go basic farm and then, you know, upgrade later. Since we do have a decent source of poo. Uh, I also want a crock pot, which I need six charcoal, three cut stone. That's actually not bad. Um, let's we'll put a couple logs in this guy. And let's go ahead and cook up these frog legs. We're gonna eat well tonight. Mmm. Delicious. We got a lot of berries we can cook up. We'll actually probably go ahead and cook that up now. And we'll kind of subside on jam for a while. Or roasted berries. Once we get a crock pot, we can start making some fistful of jam. Actually, let's see how much charcoal we have. We might be able to make a crock pot immediately. Oh. We're one charcoal short. We'll have to do some strategic burning come morning. That'll be fine. We'll do some strategic burning. And, uh, yeah, that'll be good. Just taking a look real quick, see if there's anything majorly new. Heat stone, I remember what that is. Carpeted flooring. But yeah, I think that's where we're going to end this episode. Um, tomorrow, our focus is going to be finding some uh, mushrooms to give the pigs and starting to collect fertilizer like that's going to be our big focus actually you know before we do in this episode I put far too much on that fire I really did let's go ahead and give our gourds knot and our marbles and such not to the king and I swear to god if he keeps putting stuff on this obelisk I'm going to be pissed um yeah we'll give him these melty marbles as well sweet that's uh, another bit of gold I don't think I can get to. Thank you, Pig King. You're the best. But yeah, I want to thank you all for watching. Um, remember to like, comment, subscribe, and as always, have a fantastic day.